Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my seven steps to brighter eyes. Yes, that's right. I just did this makeup and I'll show you exactly everything I did. All seven steps because when we get a little older, sometimes our eyes can look kind of dull and they just don't have that sparkle that they used to have maybe in our younger years. But when we're over 50, there are several things we can do to brighten up our eyes. And if you're not a subscriber and you're over 50, I hope you'll click that little bell because that will send you emails about my future videos and they're all about all of us over 50. Okay, let me come in a little closer and I'll show you how to get brighter eyes. Okay, here we are up close and personal and I'm going to show you the eight steps that I use when I really want my eyes to look their biggest, brightest, best. Maybe not biggest, but the brightest. Now I don't use these steps every time I make up my eyes because it does take a little longer, but for a special occasion, it's really worth it. Okay, the first step is to use this Lumify. This looks like a little tiny bottle, yes, but it packs a huge punch. I used Lumify this morning and what you do is take out your contacts and then you put one drop in each eye and wait 10 minutes and the whites of my eyes are usually not this white and you might notice on young people that their eyes are white and clear and my eyes got yellowish kind of snake eyes is what I call them and when I use Lumify I can have younger looking eyes. Now the second way to brighten your eyes is to make sure you use a lid primer. I don't know if you can see that but they have a lot of little red veins on them and it's just not attractive and it helps your shadow adhere better to use a lid primer and I'm using the Smashbox lid primer which I really like because it's almost the thickness of a foundation and it really does null out those little veins and imperfections. Now I'm going to use my Sigma 84 precision brush. Absolutely love this for under eye concealer and also for putting your lid primer on in a nice even way. I also go into those inner corners because we get a little darkness there. There's the lid primer on that eye. Boy, this dries quickly. Now the next step is to brighten your under eyes. And this is the normal concealer that I use every day. And it is the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium Honey. But since I want to brighten my eyes all around, I'm using a lighter concealer than I normally do. In fact, this one is called Light. And I'll just dab a little bit under the eyes. And a little bit goes a long way. So we're not gonna put a whole lot under the eyes. And again, I'm going in with my Sigma P84 brush. This brush is wonderful. In fact, I have a video that's coming out that is my favorite brushes. I really have some fantastic brushes. And if you're interested in seeing that and you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. And you can do that below the video by clicking the little bell. See how that just brightened the under eyes? Got a little too much over here. Then to set that, we're going to use a brightening under eye powder. This is the Makeup Revolution Bake and Blot Powder in the color Banana. I love this. And I'm applying it with my Real Techniques Squirrel Brush. Absolutely love this brush. I'll list it for you under the video if I can find it. I've been using it for about a year and it seems like it's hard to find these Real Techniques Squirrel Brushes. They're blue, so they're easy to see, but I think this is the perfect size to powder right under the eyes. So that Banana Powder gave us a little more lightness. Now the next step is to lighten up the eyelids and personally I prefer a beigey kind of a light colored eyelid because that does brighten up the eyes and to me the dark shadows kind of close in eyes and make them smaller. I love this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. In fact it's one of my favorite palettes and I'll just take a little bit of this color Silk Teddy and you can see how much I've used it. This is my go-to palette for everyday wear. Of course on YouTube I have to show you a lot of different items but for daily wear, I'm not nearly so creative. I kind of do the same thing every day. And this is my favorite go-to eyeshadow palette. Then I'll go in and darken the outside corners with a color called Cashmere Bunny. And this is the Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush. I love this brush. I have been using it every single day for probably a month. And I probably won't change because it is perfect for getting in that little outer corner and for doing very detailed crease work. And you basically just pat that corner on from the outside in, maybe about a fourth of the way. And remember that where you set your brush first is the darkest color, so you really want to start out there at the outside of the eye. Then you're going to take that little brush and turn it sideways so you can pull that color up and start to create a little bit of an outer V. We'll do the other side. And again, you just turn the brush on its side 
and pull that color up. You can use it a little bit like a crease brush right in that outer corner. Then we're going in with the Sigma 25 crease brush with that same color, Cashmere Bunny. Start at the outer corner because you want that to be the darkest and just bring it in. Other side. Little circles on the outside and then bring that color in. Little windshield wiper motion. Now we're going to use our Sigma E40 to blend that out just very, very gently. I didn't go very heavy on the eyeshadow. So you just want to barely touch that brush on the border. Now let's take that color a little bit under the eyes. Again, we'll use Cashmere Bunny and I'm using the Sigma Smudge Brush. Absolutely love this brush. Just give ourselves a little lower eyeliner. Other side. Now I'll apply my liner and mascara off camera. Now the next step is that we're going to highlight our brows and I'm going in with the same palette in the color Heaven and I'll just take it right under that brow. I'm using a small brush since I've already done the rest of the eye. I don't want to interfere with that crease. Again, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk small shadow brush because it keeps the shadow in the right place. Then I'm going to go in and lighten the brow still further using my old workhorse that I always use in the waterline, which I'll show you how this works in just a minute. This is a two prong product, it's great. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And you just take it and go right under the brow, just right up there, which looks ugly. I'll do it again, it looks very white, just a little line. Then you're just going to pat it in with your fingers just to blend that in. Other side. Now we'll use that same product in the waterline, and I do this every single morning. Absolutely love it. I think it wakes up your eyes, makes the whites of your eyes look larger, just kind of opens them up and gives you a lot of brightness. As you can see on that side, it gives your eyes just a little bit more sparkle. Other side. So that's how that looks. Now the final step is something I absolutely love and I have found the perfect product to do this. You know, you've seen those YouTubers who have very bright inner corners and I always wondered how to do that and I would try standard eyeshadows and I never found a product that worked as well as this one. This is the MAC eyeshadow. It's a powdered eyeshadow in the color nylon. And I just take a little small brush and this is the Sigma F70 and I just dip into that eyeshadow and go right on the inner corner here bring it down on the lower lid and up on the upper lid a little bit. See how that just adds a little sparkle? Do it on the other side. And this eyeshadow seems to last all day. It's really truly amazing. So that finishes off our bright eye look and I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush and this is the Chanel blush in Rose Ekron. Absolutely love this. And this is a fabulous eyeshadow brush that I found. It's a Sephora brush and I'll link it below. Absolutely love this brush because it puts the blush in exactly the right place. It's not a huge brush, and I think that's a good thing. And start underneath the cheekbone. And this is also a great brush if you want to use it to apply under the cheek contour or highlighter. I love the small compact size. Now I just remembered one more bonus tip on highlighting the eyes and I'm using this highlighter from Physicians Formula called Bronze Booster and I'm just going to take my brush and kind of flatten it out and do a little highlight here in a half moon shape. You can kind of play with it and see where it looks good on you. And if you have a lot of crow's feet, I would not do this. And that highlights the eyes still further. Now for lipsticks, Avon actually sent me several different lipsticks in a wonderful little pack. And these are their True Color Nourishing lipsticks. Look how pretty that is. And supposedly the color that is in the tube is the color that it looks like on your lips, which is a good thing. They're very moisturizing and they do last a long time. I'll show you this one. So there's how that one looks. Now I'll try the second one. Look at that beautiful color. This is a dark one. And there it is. 
And here is the third color, and I really prefer this because it is a little lighter. And there that is. A beautiful little pinky nude color. And I'm going to go in with a little Rimmel East End Snob to give it a little lip line. So there it is. So that's a look at how to brighten our eyes when we're 50 plus. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things beauty and health for those of us who are 50 plus, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell that just sends you emails of my future videos. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And these are the Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. And you can get them on Amazon. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Ooh, Releasing Resistance. Releasing resistance. Today I will simply accept. Whew, I will relinquish the need to be in resistance to myself and my environment in any way. I will move forward in joy by accepting where I am right now. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it brings to mind something I read recently which is say yes. Say yes. That was all it was. Say yes. And I realized that when you say yes to anything that happens in your life, seemingly the good things and seemingly the bad things, when you say yes, it brings on acceptance and peace. And when we accept and are grateful for everything in our life, that just increases our positive energy so more good things flow in. Take care. See you next time.